All right, guys, man. So I got another one for you. This one is sad, very disturbing. People are fired for refusing the COVID vaccine, but also unlikely to get unemployment benefits. So if you refuse it, so you can pretty much, if you keep your job, which on this channel, we teach you to follow your passion and cash in. But if you keep your job, it's, it's likely that even if you're against taking this vaccine, you're going to get bullied into it, okay? So businesses are increasingly requiring their workers to get the uh, vaccine as condition of employment. So that's bully. Back in the day, they would say something that's similar to like blackmail or something like that, right? Okay, where you don't like outright say it or something, but you insinuate that if you don't do what I tell you to do, something bad is going to happen to you. So such workers likely don't qualify for unemployment benefits, according to labor experts, but there might be some exceptions. So let's see if they have some exceptions. One, one thing I want to tell y'all is if you don't want to take this stuff now for those that do do your thing i don't care anymore like i'm tired of trying to convince y'all about this pig baby blood crap that they're putting in your arms and stuff. but for those of you who do want to take it do your thing for those of you who don't you need to quit man make your supplications make your preparations and quit because you your rights are gone they're an illusion you don't have any rights so if you got a job dude like it's only a matter of time before they're trying to force this on you, okay? It says, as businesses and lawmakers increasingly require workers to get a vaccine shot, thousands of holdouts are losing their jobs and they likely can't collect unemployment benefits. So this nation is divided. It's kind of like a civil war. There are people that support the vaccine or are in bu or bullied into it. Then there's people who stand on what they believe in and are not getting it. Well, they're trying to teach you a lesson. There is no such thing as freedom of speech. Uh, and those that stand for what they believe in get assassinated. You saw what Martin Luther, ha what happened to him, what happened to Malcolm X, all of that. Now that's happening to the individual in the United States if you refuse to take the baby pig blood batters, okay? <laughs> However, there may be exceptions depending on a worker's situation. According to, according to employment experts, some state legislators are trying to change their rules altogether, okay? If you don't want to be vaccinated, don't have a religious or a disability exemption, or you lose your job, chances are you will be found ineligible for un unemployment compensation said Christopher Moran, a partner and an employment attorney at law firm Troutman Pepper Hamilton Sanders Godley. I hope they have an acronym for their name. But anyway, so look, look, guys, this is because people are tough, okay? They know that you'll just say, well, I don't care. I'll get another job or I don't care. I'll just work from home or I don't care. I'll just collect unemployment. They know that. So they're trying to take that away. It's not that you shouldn't be eligible for unemployment. It's the fact that they don't want you to be prideful and start a whole movement of other people that will quit as well. That's why. So they'll, they'll just, you know, now they're going to make it to where you struggle if you do quit. Okay. All right. So un unvaccinated. Northwell Health, the largest healthcare provider in New York, recently terminated 1,400 unvaccinated workers. And you guys can see that video on the channel. Uh, they, they got rid of 1,400 people. All right. United Airlines is also poised to fire nearly 600 unvaccinated employees. And Kaiser Permanente, which is based in California, said Tuesday it put more than 2,200 employments on unpaid leave nationwide. This is crazy. So instead of allowing them to fire you, on this channel, Anti-Job, we teach you to quit your job and go after your passion in order to cash in. You could text the number and we'll help you turn your hobby, dream, or passion into a way to cash in, okay? This issue may soon affect many more people. About 46% of organizations plan to institute a vaccine mandate, uh, according to survey published by Gartner. This is horrible, guys. Like, listen, listen. The U.S. Department of Labor is also soon expected to issue a rule mandating vaccines among businesses with at least 100 employees. The White House is also in 
They're requiring vaccines for all federal workers. Earlier this year, 28% of employed Americans said they wouldn't get a vaccine even if it cost their job, according to Society of Human Resource Mag Management. Yeah, but people are going to start uh, changing their minds, and they know that. Like, you don't mind losing your job, but you know that you need unemployment to take care of your family until you get a new one. So they know that. They know your weaknesses. They know that, guys. But you, if you have a passion or a gift, it's a way that you can monetize that and take care of yourself, you know, for now until they start trying to come for entrepreneurs, too, <laughs> which is inevitable. Workers qualify for unemployment benefit in cases of eligible job separation, according to Ann Paxton, an attorney and policy director at the Unemployment Law Project, which represents individuals in appeal cases when their benefits have been denied. So basically what they're saying is eligible job separation, meaning is if you uh, had a reason to quit other than job policy, like maybe a family member died and you have to travel and go somewhere or you're moving to a different city or, or health reasons or something like that, but not because you just want to quit because you don't like their policies. So in states somewhat differ in their definitions and most workers can't collect benefits or if they are laid off, quit a job for a good cause, see, a good cause or get fired for a reason other than misconduct. So I want you to see those two words right there. Good cause and misconduct. Okay, so good cause is not refusing to take the vaccine. So basically in this country, you're, a, uh, you're what starts with a T and rhymes with errorist. If you decide, if you decide to not take the vaccine, you are a t errorist. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's that's what they uh, commit. Uh, you know, they classify you as a domestic one of those. So they'll consider it misconduct if you refuse it. So that's how they'll be able to legally not give you your unemployment. That's crazy, right? This is a horrible country because, however, a labor agency will likely deem refusal to comply with a vaccine mandate as misconduct. She said, losing one's job as a result would therefore likely disqualify a worker from benefits if the refusal hadn't been for a medical or religious reason. So this is why a lot of people are trying to make up those religious reasons or medical reasons when there's never been anything wrong with them medically and is they've never been religious. <laughs> they just don't want to freaking take it, you know, and it's a shame people should have to lie and say, yo, I'm a Muslim and I'm not allowed to take that. When you know damn well, they ain't no damn Muslim, you know what I'm saying? But people are afraid. Okay, so look, <sighs> guys, this is why on this channel, Anti-Job University, we teach you to turn your passion into a way to cash in. You do not have to be uh, shackled and yoked to these jobs that can drop you at any minute and not only drop you, not give you unemployment benefits. This is horrible because if you're new to the channel, this is what we talk about. We're against nine to five jobs. I don't care if you love it. I don't care if it pays you high. If they have power over you like this, you need to take what they taught you and go start your own damn business with it, okay? All right, love you guys.